Hi everyone, welcome back to the Book Vandal Shop. Um, in the next two videos, this one and the next one, I'm going to show you how I put together this super adorable accordion style um, journal. Uh, it uses uh, my winter or Christmas digital kit that's in my shop and some chipboard and some cardstock and some ribbon. So pretty much all things you'd have on hand except for the digital kit. But you can use your own paper and just adapt this style to any theme that you want to, any paper that you want to. So let me show you. This is just a little charm that I put on a, um, a bulb pin, but the charm came from Hobby Lobby, a little Christmas tree. I thought it was cute. So, whoops. Um, cardstock cover on the front. I did put some uh, gold corners on all eight corners. Little brads here on the front. Okay, so it is accordion style. So there is a front and a back, okay? So here in the front, we have a library pocket and a card and a little journaling card. And then on this page, a little tuck spot, a card in it, some lined pages, a little secret spot, tuck spot with tags. I thought this would just be a really cute journal to um, add some pictures to and some memories. But you could do this any way you wanted. I also thought it'd be really cute to um, do like Christmas recipes in this. And over here in this spot, we have just some little flashcard journaling cards. And then on the back page, whoopsie, I haven't flipped through it since I glued my corners on and I appears that I got my last page in my corner. Doggone it. Uh, I will have to fix that off camera. There. Anyway. And then in this one, I have just extra tags and journaling cards. Okay. And then on the back side, we have just lined journal pages for writing. So it's, it's an accordion. Pretty neat. So you could even, you know, you could stand it up, um, use it for decoration if you, um, you know, if you just wanted to stand it up, say like that, on, on a stand. So anyway, that's what we're going to be making in the next couple of videos. If you're interested in joining me, I'm going to have to fix that corner there when I get off the camera. And uh, anyway, I will see you in just a little bit. And what I have here is the back of a, um, oh, like a uh, watercolor or um, drawing um, pad, you know, from an art store. So I've just kept the back of it. My son was done with it. So it is some super heavy duty um very stiff cardboard. I would say this is even a little bit thicker and more sturdy than the uh, graphics brand chipboard that I usually use, which was the graphics medium weight chipboard is my normal go-to. So this is even a little bit stiffer than that, but I wanted to just use what I had. And I'd like to get a front cover and a back cover both out of this one pad. So I'm going to cut off this part here and straighten up my razor knife just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to get a nice straight edge over here and get rid of these little binding holes. Maybe. Okay. 
And let's see what we measure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to cut it again at 11 inches. Okay. And then five and a half. Let me grab a pencil. One, two, three, four, five. And half. Okay. Five and a half by nine is what mine measures. So I have a front and a back. And I would I want to make my plan is to make an accordion uh, book. We'll see. That will work. That will work just fine. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is take my front cover. Let me get this dirty thing off. Years of glue and paint and fuzzies and whatnot. I'm planning to just fold that in. And actually, if I center it just a little bit more, Right about there. Let me cut that off. Hang on. Yep. That'll work. Okay. So I'll take my ruler which is about the same height as mine or same thickness as that board actually here's a piece of it right here and i'm just taking double thickness of it and hold it on the corner like so approximately giving yourself a 90 degree and 245 degrees, see what I mean? Like that. Give yourself a corner. They make special uh, little miter, corner miter tools you can get, but it would just be one more tool I'd have to look for when it was time to use it. Okay, I'm going to have to move the camera back just a little bit. There we go. Hang tight. There we go. Sorry, that was probably loud, but I needed to reach better. And then I'm just going to cut these. Oh, <laughs> that one did not turn out very straight at all. Try that one again. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. That's a little better. It doesn't have to be perfect. Fabri-Tac just because I know this glue. I bought some new glues that I've that are they're not new to me. Um, 
excuse me, let me rephrase that. They are not new. They are new to me. There we go. Um, that I haven't tried yet. I have three different ones and I kind of like to put them to the test. So I might do that in an upcoming video. Try them out and see how they go. Okay, that works. I'm just going to center that in my paper. Got a little heavy handed with the glue, I think. Kind of squishy. What we want to do is take our corners and just kind of bend them up with our our bone folder just kind of give them a little bit of a, a lift okay just put a little bit of glue right there in the corner and then I'm going to outline this flap. And I'm going to keep that corner sort of rounded in. move to this side and I, I like to you can wait on this but I like kind of pushing it up just a little bit it goes ahead and gives it some give some people just go ahead and glue the flap and then they round the corner later it's just personal preference sure that corner gets kind of smooshed in and if you rub your bone folder down it as you're doing this you get those nice crisp edges didn't get that one tucked in very well. That's right. I might end up putting book corners on it or something like that. So then I'm not sure yet what I want to put on the front. I may cut this out, kind of place it on there. With some backer paper um, but what I am going to do next off camera is I'm going to go ahead and find what paper I want to use for the other cover and go ahead and get this one covered and figure that out and I'll come right back to you okay so I have my front cover and now I have my back cover both covered I haven't put anything on the front one yet I haven't decided so with the back cover uh, I guess it doesn't matter which way's up, but I am going to take some ribbon, and I don't know how much I need yet, but this was the rest of what was on the roll, so I'm just going to use all of it for right now, and I want to secure the ribbon down on the back cover. Get 
because when it, my accordion book is all closed, I want the ribbon to wrap around everything and tie on the top. So they want to get their glue too close to the edge so I don't want it to seep on the ribbon and show. I do want it to be nice and secure. I think that's about in the middle, close enough anyway. Okay, and then I've got some cardstock here, just some black cardstock. Um, I don't know if this is 80 or 110. It sounds kind of like 110 pound cardstock, but it's pretty heavy cardstock. And I am just going to mark this to be just slightly smaller than my cover. Okay, I'm gonna cut that real quick right here. I'll put that in the right spot. It's kind of dark over there. Yep. And so I'm going to glue that down over the top of my ribbon. So that's going to be on the back. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to glue it yet. I don't want to glue it yet, and I'll show you why. So then the next thing, hang on. So we're not gluing it. I've got it cut and ready to go. Let me move this off to the side. Okay, the next thing I want to do is on my front, I'm going to flip it over, okay, and then I have pages that I want to, accordion style pages that I want to put in the book, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually incorporate my pages um, like this, so then the, here we go, like that paper I just cut for the back cover going to go over the top of it and hold that down okay so I'll show you I'll show you what I'm doing all right got a little ahead of myself see I told you I hadn't done this project before this is the first time I'm doing it live on camera <laughs> not always the best way to do things I should usually have a dry run first but that's me fly by the seat of my pants all right I have my eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock Okay, I am going to mark it at five inches. And I'm scoring. If you don't have a scoreboard, just mark with a ruler and drag a stylus or a pencil down and make a mark. Okay, it just gives you a nice crisp edge. So I'm doing five inches and I'm doing again at 10. And I'm leaving that one inch flap over here. Okay, so the reason I'm leaving that little flap is because I don't have any paper that's, you know, five feet long and I want to make an accordion. So I have to piece together all the pieces and the flap gives me a place to glue them together. See, make sense? Okay, and the flap on the first one and the second one will give me a place to attach it to the cover. So I have one, two, I have, here's another one, and let's do two more, I think. So five and ten. Crease those. I may have to change the direction of them depending on what I need. Okay, let's do one more. And I'm sorry that I don't know if this is 80 pound stock or 110 pound stock. I don't have the packaging for it anymore. I just have all this card stock in the cabinet. But it is really thick. And that's what I'm wanting for this book. I'm wanting really thick because I'm thinking it can be used as a recipe or photo album for the holidays. Um, if you're going to use it for a writing journal, you might maybe want to go with a thinner um, cardstock. Okay, there we go. So let me move the scoreboard out of the way. And now let's glue these together. So if I'm starting in the front, I want... Um, Let's see how I want that to go. Yeah, I want it to do that. Okay. 
Okay, so I want to kind of make my fold my page up so I can get an idea of where it's going to go, and then hold that down, and that's where I'm going to want to glue. So let me put a little mark there. Because I, I don't think I want it all the way over the edge. I think I want it over and centered. I don't know. I haven't made one of these before. So I think that's where I want it. Maybe it's not where I want it. <laughs> we are going to find out. You might want to watch this video all the way to the end before you try one of your own. Make sure that I didn't do a, a goof. I'm known to do those every now and then. I wouldn't steer you wrong on purpose. Not on purpose. Okay, so yeah, I like that. So my cover and then valley goes up like that. So then now I need a flap so I can glue. So I just want it to go to accordion, up and down, up and down. So you may have to fold your flaps a different direction. That way you have a peak and a valley and a peak and a valley. So I have a peak and a valley and a peak and that would give me my valley. <laughs> if you can hear that fan, that's my heating system out here in the shop. It's actually really quiet, but sometimes the camera's been picking up the uh, fan noise. It's not really usually too loud, just noticeable. So, sorry about that. I want to make sure you get these really straight so things don't get off kilter by the end. Peak and valley, peak and valley, peak. Ooh, that's going to be, yeah, see, I'm already, already starting to get off kilter a little bit. Okay, and the last one, let's see, bring in my back cover. And let's see, I want that, I think I want that to just glue down. Yeah, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this flap off. Let's see how this works. Now if I put that on there, then that can glue down there. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. And then the piece I cut earlier can be the backer on the front cover. problem solving. You get to think, see how I think on the fly. <laughs> Normally, I really do like to do projects ahead of time, make sure everything's going to work before I get on camera with it, but I am so pressed for time this year, and I just have not been feeling the greatest. And so I really, I really don't want to do it twice. Okay, and then that 
gonna glue right on there. Oh, I got a little crappy with my cutting there. What's going on there? Let me uh, make that a little prettier. Okay, bring this light in a little bit closer. Glue this on. No turning back now. We are committed now. Okay. center that up but I also kind of want to make sure it's centered with my front cover you know what I mean you know what I mean so while I'm still movable I'm just kind of moving it around and making sure that it meets up where I need it to because I want my covers to match up does that make sense so where I thought I needed to be back here wasn't where I needed to be. I actually ended up needing to be all the way over. And that's okay because you know what I think I can end up doing is taking some decorative paper and even just making a pocket here so I can go farther over with the paper if I want. There are always options. Okay, so then now on the front, I'm gonna turn it upright like that. I need to now trim this. I'm gonna stick a paper or a clothespin on those so they stay back out of the way. Now I need to cut this to be a little bit narrower. Let's try that. I think that'll work. Yep, I do, I do, I do. All right. work just grand okay I'm gonna let that dry before we um, go flipping through it and I'll show you what it looks like but I really want to let those seams dry a little bit I used a lot of glue and they are a little bit wet still so I'm gonna let that dry while I front think about what I want to put on the front cover and then I will come back okay so here's what I'm thinking for the front cover took one of the sheets out of the digital kit and I just laid it down and marked about where I wanted it to go. Um, and so I think that's what I want. And then I found this piece of um, tan colored cardstock that's almost the same color as the little card. I mean, it's a little bit darker, but that's okay. And I think I want to back those together. So my thought is I'm going to take a little bit of the Victorian velvet distress ink and I just want to highlight the cover I mean corner yeah mm-hmm I just want to highlight the edges Sheesh. Um, because this kit is it's sort of vintagey looking but it is definitely not grungy um, there is a video of a full flip through of the kit here on my channel if you want to see all the different pages um, but it's, like I said, it's, it's sort of vintage -y. 
not grungy, but I just want that to stand out a little bit. And then I want this to kind of also pop, so to speak. So I'm just going to take some Distress Ink. This one is Walnut Stain. And I'm just going to hit the edges of the cardstock here. Just to give it a little bit of definition. A little bit of dimension. I don't want to go super grungy. Okay. And then I haven't decided yet, but I might end up distressing the edges of my cover all the way around on the front and the back. Um, in fact, let's just see what it does. Hmm. It's not that noticeable. So, yeah, I'll probably finish that up later, but... I don't know, I kinda kinda like the look it gives it there. Okay, I guess that's not a matter because I'm gonna put corners on it too. I just haven't showed you that yet. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. Glue this on. Woo. Okay. That looks about centered. Close enough. Yeah, I think the distress ink definitely gives it a little bit of definition. Okay, and then I found... I found these little gold corners, and I think I'm going to use those. I'm not going to put them on yet, though. Um, those need uh, bent a little bit. There we go. I think I'll end up putting those on. And then this is going to go on here. And then I'm thinking, if it's not too much... I'm going to put these little gold brads in the corner here and here. So let's see. I could get out a little, my little tiny hole punch, but this works just as well if I have something to put underneath. Uh, that piece of chipboard ought to do it. I'm just going to poke a little hole. There we go. I'm going to turn it around because it's a little easier for me to see where the hole is at if I'm not on the printed side. Um, yeah. Let's go here. And... Let's go there. I could have measured that, you know, but that's all right. It will be close enough, right? Right. I'll put these little brads in, and then I'm going to glue this down in the center of my front cover. Okay? So I'm going to do that, and I'll come right back. Okay, so the cover is all glued down, and I still may put some metal corners on it. I haven't decided yet, um, but I don't know. I think it's a cute little project, and it's coming together nicely. So I think that's going to be all that I do in this video, um, just doing the construction. And then in the next video, I'll show you um, how I do the pages um, and what I decide on there, because I've got to give that some thought. Okay. Let me know if you make one. Uh, make sure to tag me on Instagram or uh, shoot me a message. Um, I'd love to see it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, happy crafting. Take care. Stay healthy. Um, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving this week if you are here in the States and you celebrate that. Okay. Bye-bye.